So I'm incorporating a lot of uh, operations in this small space here. These are the edge pieces, the short pieces. I'm cutting these as I go along. 
on the chop saw, just doing small batches. And I have them set up in different areas. And I'm using these uh, riser blocks. I have a couple of riser blocks just to elevate the work pieces so that they have better reach. And I put this platform here screwed onto my workbench and that just puts my staple gun in the right location so I don't have to reach too far. And, uh, and when I did stretchers in my last video, I did um, this, this hanging carousel shelf and I installed that into the system. Uh, in this operation that I'm doing now, I'm just using it as a glue pallet. So I'm just putting the guns here and I have two guns now instead of just one. So I don't have to have the gun on the shelf so I can keep this here. And this really is helping me contain this glue mess. I wrapped my, my turntable shelf with plastic wrap. And so I don't even have to waste the plastic wrap because this glue just peels right up. And this is, this is kind of fun. So, and I have a five in one tool for cleaning the. Oof. Cleaning the glue off the table. I also have a nail set on a magnet. So I've got a hammer and a nail set over here. And then this one I keep on the other side. the glue I just uh, spread it out like that and let that spill out and that way that you know you'll have a little bit of squeeze out that just keeps coming out and that way it just ends up in the same spot and I don't I don't have to make a mess everywhere I had a real problem containing this mess it just seems to get on everything I was using little pieces of scrap wood and then you know I'd always bump into it but it's really well contained on this elevated shelf here and uh, that seems to be the best use for this turntable so far um, so I have a glue glue bottle on both sides and a sanding block on both sides and I just cleaned these and <clears throat> these are short pieces I'm actually cutting two sizes I forgot to mention I'm doing two sizes on the chop saw with this shim. So this shim gives me a, a shorter dimension and I can just you know, lift this out of the way and then do the longer size. And that seems to be working for this, this operation. So I, I, I test fit if it needs a long one or a short one. So the short ones are on this side. This is a long one. <clears throat> and then this is a long one. So, and these are positioned so that I can, I can reach them when I'm on either side of this workbench. So, and then I have a gun right here, which is this, it fires the same type of fastener. So this is my backup gun. So I'm using that here, and I have more pliers. These are the staples I'm using, inch and a quarter narrow crown staples. I use these for a lot of assembly. Works really well with plywood. And this is my wrapping station. So when I finish the frame, I uh, stack five at a time and then use these little spacer blocks uh, to pad it out so that the plastic wrap doesn't compress it together. Because I, I actually had a problem with that uh, before. And, uh, you know, the compression would put stress on these joints and uh, could warp the frame a little bit because this glue joint takes a while to set up because sometimes the plywood has defects in, in the veneering. So I have to fill this on the edge because when the canvas wraps around that, that'll make a little wrinkle there. So I just fill that with some filler. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything. That's my setup. Oh, yep. Paper towels spray bottle this is for cleanup squeeze out at the miters 
spray bottle is not working so good. So I think that's everything now. Oh, no, forgot one thing. I got the blowgun on a magnet. This is a really super strong magnet encased in wood. And uh, long story about those. But I'm using that to secure my blowgun. So that keeps the uh, air hose off the surface here, which will get get all gunged up with that glue. And I can still use this for blowing the dust off of the uh, short pieces before I stamp them with my logo. I'm really sick of doing these, but I'm the only one here. <laughs> so, hey, drink some more coffee. Weird stuff. <laughs> 